Good morning everyone. Okay, I feel like I can start today's video a bit better because the porch has actually started today. <laughs> it's actually started. The guys are wor working away so hard outside and <coughs> as you can hear, it's a really exciting day because obviously the porch is going in. I also have finally my design meeting with Lauren Casey who is helping me finish the house. This is for the entire house. So I'm gonna see the entire design, finalize everything, obviously say what I don't like and what I want changing. Um, Obviously this is like very much a collaborative thing between me and Lauren, not that we're collaborating in the sense that I've paid and I am a fully paying customer, but just that it's like we're both working together on this and she's bringing some really good ideas to the table and um, it's just working so well at the moment. Obviously the study has started and it's all looking really, really good at the moment, but I haven't looked out the window at the porch yet because I want to go out there and have a look before I go. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Ali just said to me, have you seen the porch? I was like, no, I'm not looking yet. <laughs> um, but also it's an exciting day because after this very, very busy day, I am gonna be heading over to Carrie's house because it is decorating Carrie's tree day. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. We've just popped some champagne to chill because that's what we're gonna be drinking. Luckily, I don't really have a busy day tomorrow, so that's really good as well. And I'm just, yeah, really, really looking forward to today. I had a bit of a weird night's sleep whereby I slept, but if I did stir at all, I had like very, very bad, like fluttering chest never really had it before but I still got a good night's sleep so it's not so bad I've just been downstairs finalizing tonight's vlogmas video and this is what I'm wearing today I'm wearing my Karen Millen dress which is the dress of dreams it is honestly like an illusion dress I can't even show you because I've got this big black cardigan on but I'm gonna put some boots on I'm gonna put a hat on and head to Lauren's studio which is about half an hour away from where I live the guys are not here working on the greenhouse today because it was supposed to snow it hasn't snowed and it's just raining at the moment, but it's supposed to snow tonight. So tomorrow for Carrie's birthday, it might be a snow day, which is really, really exciting. The only thing that's really annoying is the cake that I've ordered for Carrie it comes from a place called Dee's Basement, which is my friend's sister's company. And obviously my assistant is called Dee. And we joke that Dee has this warehouse space in our house. And it, long story, but basically Carrie was like, oh, why is there an invoice for Dee's Basement? And I was like, damn it. <laughs> anyway, my cardigan is from Seen On Her. I'll link it in the description box down below. I'm gonna get my Chloe boots on. I'm gonna pack my bag, get me hat on and go because I'm running late. Sorry for the ridiculous angle, but I am heading out the back door. Is that open? Nope. Hold on a minute. Just to show you the update of where the bloodbath is. We are currently having the edging put in through here which is looking really good. So this is where the gravel path will start and head down there to what is looking like the finished wall of the greenhouse, which just looks incredible. I'm so excited, but I'm gonna head round to the front. Hello, you. <laughs> I'm gonna head round to the front and see what the porch is looking like because I've caught a little glimpse of it through the um, window and oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Oh my goodness. Wow. It looks amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so happy. This is where we are at. Look how good it's looking. Oh my goodness, I am so excited excited by the porch i can't believe how good it is gonna look oh my goodness this is such a weight off my mind i was so worried i was thinking that it wasn't going to really make much difference or it was going to look wrong and it just it's the complete effect that we wanted and once you realize it's really sad once you realize that you kind of have to replace something that's already there it just wasn't done great but now it's amazing and it's one of those things again that's going to add value and i'm just i'm just so happy and to be on the on the road to go to my design meeting oh, 
I'm just very, very excited. I can't wait to show you it finished. But because of the wall issues, the guys aren't actually gonna be able to do the roof. So luckily, because Ali's got lots of very talented friends, we've got some of his roofer friends coming to put the roof on. So that's really, really handy. I'm happy about that. So it means it's gonna be finished. It is gonna be finished. And I showed Ali how I want to stack the wood under the benches, but it has transformed the entrance. I'm so, so happy. It's raining today. It is not snowing and I'm already like soaked because I stood outside on the uh, driveway so much just staring at my porch, but all is good. Also, this is the first year that I'm actually using my heated steering wheel. I, I thought it came on automatically. It doesn't. You just press a little button on your steering wheel and I didn't even know that that's how you did it. So I have a very, very toasty steering wheel at the moment, which is blooming lovely. It is full festive in here. I can't believe it. I want to. I want to work here. This is amazing. I love that bureau over there as well. I know. I've just literally had delivery of these. Look, I've had two. Wow. So we're inside the Lauren Casey studio, and it is just as beautiful as you would think it would be and everything is all set out, ready to go through. I'm seeing boards with drawings on and lots of really beautiful trays. So I am very, very excited. There's even biscuits, which, I mean, you can't go wrong with biscuits. And this is Ali's antique office chair, which is obviously gonna be going into the study. And I've just sat in it and it's lovely. I'm actually quite sad that he's not here. So I think he might try if he can get all of his campaigns shot today to come down and go through all of this with us. But oh, it's very exciting. So I'd just like you to appreciate. Yeah, that's fine. The more the more the merrier. This is our tripod for the afternoon as well. If you think that I usually I use an Lnet hairspray can, but this this is a work of art. I'm going to say this is our best styling option. That we've ever yes. Done. <laughs> I love it. But it means that you guys get the best view of the table because I had it all the way down here so you couldn't see anything. But now you can see all of the trays and it looks brilliant. So, by the way, I've just spotted my uh, tumbled limestone floor and I did actually nearly cry. So, there's probably going to be many occasions in this that I, I do cry. <laughs> We're going to work our way around the room and then hopefully if Ali joins us we'll get to kind of his section, his dressing room and so on later on this afternoon. So, welcome to your new house. Um, so <laughs> That's it. It like, is, isn't it? absolutely nailed it. I'm so pleased. Because it's got the right amount of grey without being grey and yes. it's not too sandy coloured, is it? It's not yeah. too warm. Big apex goes straight out to the garden. So we want to kind of pull as much of that earthiness back into the hallway. Yeah. I've always wanted something like that there, but because of the floor that we went for, it was too like mono yeah. wood. And so now with this and that, it gives a difference, which yeah. is what I was trying to get, but couldn't, and you've just done it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm French polishing is. I've got some images actually. Oh, yes. I love visuals. <laughs> my coffee. We have just been through the entire plan and honestly I am, um, I feel like giddy, I'm so excited. So this is a lot of the textures that are going to be going into the kitchen. Um, obviously that's just a texture for the um, kitchen table which is going to be a really beautiful old antique top. And then we've got linen chairs, brass handles, beautiful striped blinds which I'm so excited about. And then we've got a really lovely crucial trading rug which is whipped just like that and then these are just a little bit of like inspo so these lights are going to be going on the back wall back wall is going to be cladded this is probably my pride and joy this but this is also going to be in the kitchen this is my dream tumbled limestone floor and honestly it, when I saw this I thought I was going to cry because this is what I have always dreamed of having these are the fabrics for the hallway which are going to be really lovely and tie in the study there's just so much to show you this is just some fabric additions to the um, living room just to tie in everywhere else this carpet is from Eaton Square which is do you know what I didn't even know this existed this is a wool 
softer than sisal, I believe, carpet, and it's bleachable. So I am so excited to find out how durable this is because I've often felt that to have a durable carpet, you have to have synthetic. And so this is gonna be revolutionary, personally. I'm very excited about this. Eaton Square is a brand that I recently found. And yeah, this looks incredible. Lots of details of the bedroom in here as well. This is the bed that we are hoping to introduce, which is much better. This is our bathroom, so we're gonna have a herringbone tile, and then this is going to be the blind in there. Um, we're hoping to get a porter vanity unit, which is my dream, and then this stunning aged copper bath, which you've probably seen before. Here is something that I'm very, very excited about. This is the um, cinema room bar area. Really beautiful bar, like stained in like an almost mahogany rugs. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And then this is a little bit of a sort of inspo again with lots of um, aged brass. These ones are just a few colors that we're gonna look at to change just to, to more like earthy tones, but really excited about this. This is a little desk in front of the window in my favorite bedroom. And this looks out over the sort of courtyard in front of the house. And it's where I want to be able to go either sit with my camera or sit with my laptop and just write. And I'm so excited about this. And then this beautiful headboard. <gasps> So, so nice. This is the other guest bedroom, which I think Ali is going to absolutely love. This is the bathroom at the top of the house and I am in love with this vanity top. This is from Porter, which do amazing bathrooms. And this one is their Bianco Verde marble. It's got like this green tone that runs through it and I'm just in love with it. But that's just a little bit of a sneaky peek. There's just so much to show you, but this, this floor it's from Carpietra and honestly, it's it's my dream. I can't believe it. Good evening, everyone. Oh my gosh, I'm probably looking a little bit bleary eyed because I've been in the studio for five hours with Lauren Casely and her team and very, very exciting. I'm so, so, so happy. It's ridiculous. Like you have no idea how happy I am with everything that she's done. She's absolutely nailed exactly what I want and I cannot wait for you to see all of this come together so cohesively and just make everything work so well. I'm over the moon. I'm heading home now. I'm going to show you a few pictures of things but you would have seen most of the stuff that I can show you on the previous clips anyway. That tumbled limestone floor oh my goodness you have no idea how excited i am about that but now i'm excited because i'm heading home to see the progress with the porch and i'm very 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 much looking forward to this i've done my absolute best to stay off of the cctv so that it can be a complete surprise when I get to the house. It's not gonna be finished today and we have to wait for the roofers to come and finish off the roof because of everything that, that, that happened yesterday. But when I left and I saw it, oh my gosh, it just looked incredible. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this and seeing how they've got on. Uh, it's gonna probably be a quick turnaround because I'm gonna put myself into something comfy. And then I'm heading over to Carrie's for some spag bowl, I think, some vegetarian spag bowl and tree decorating at hers. And I know how excited a lot of you are. I mean, it's probably not gonna be as funny as last year because last year was the first time me seeing the full extent of Carrie's Christmas tree decoration selection. But there is still going to be champagne and me and Carrie together is always a hoot. So yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna head down. Well, I'm gonna head home, get myself sorted, and then head over there. What a lovely evening! And also, I have just been sent an update of the puppies, and oh my god, they look like proper puppies now. I'm so excited. They look like proper little pups. Do you know what I think the loveliest thing is? How like you guys sometimes you just word things so much better than I ever could. And someone wrote to me, they were like, I know how excited you are to be a mum of two again, but you never weren't a mum of two. Oh, don't even make me cry. Don't, it will set me off. Oh, you never weren't a mum of two because Lynx is still very much with you. Literally, people are gonna think I'm mental crying at my steering wheel. Lynx is still very much with you. You are now a mum of three. And I was like, you guys are just the loveliest. You really are. Anyway. Before I blub completely, I'm gonna head home. Right, I am home and in a super positive mood. Oh my goodness, 
Look at the parcels that have been delivered. It's ridiculous, but we are not opening those. I need to quickly get ready to head to Carrie's, but um, I've got her little gift here that I need to show you. And I've got some other gifts that have arrived to go through with you. Oh, so festive, I love it. So this little thing is the Christmas decoration that I got for Carrie for uh, her tree. Seeing as we're doing her tree this evening over a lovely bottle of champagne. I thought I'd show you this before I give it to her. But if you don't know, Miss Grayson loves vegetables. She also loves really ugly Christmas decorations. And so I got her this. <laughs> It's a very lovely, I love vegetables, bauble that I found on Amara Home. Basically, if you ever want really ugly baubles, Amara seems to have a plethora of ugly baubles. So I just couldn't believe that I found it. I was gonna get her like a bottle of wine and I tried to order her a wine bucket one, but this one was way better. So, and by better, I mean way worse. Um, also, I'm not gonna show you the porch in this video because it's dark and I feel like it's not gonna do it any justice. So I am gonna show you in tomorrow's video. So a little bit of a cliffhanger there. Uh, to show you a little bit more but also I think it'll be a bit more finished tomorrow the only thing that we'll be waiting on is the roof going on so that's good so I've received an order I did a big old order on cult beauty and as you know I'm a regular with cult beauty I work with them regularly and I love their stuff they're pretty much the only beauty store that I shop on and it's because they do really cool up and coming brands, really niche brands, but also the best from all of the brands as well. And um, I wanted to pick up a few little stocking fillers and gifts for people. And honestly, I always think that these things are like the best in terms of just little thoughtful gifts. Do you know what I mean? Like, first of all, I can already see some like silk hair scrunchies and hair ties. For me, these are essential and lots of the, the like, special ladies in my life like my mum who's had a bit of a nightmare with her hair I want to get her some things that are gonna look after her hair and not cause any more damage and silk is really really important like for use in terms of not using normal hair bobbles it's so much softer prevents less breakage it actually like it's good for your skin as well silk has so so many benefits and so I thought I'd pick up quite a few of these just for like stocking fillers of people. Like I said, I will link all of these items in the description box down below so that you can shop them. Um, but I have a huge box, a huge box um, of bits. Of course, I could not do a cult beauty Christmas order without ordering some Le Boutin Beauty because this is the ultimate. I think that these make such wonderful stocking fillers for like makeup lovers like my cousin and my sister are such makeup lovers that they would die if i um popped these in like their their christmas stocking the mascara is like i don't even know if, if i'll just keep that for myself because this year do not be afraid to treat yourself at the same time as treating the ones that you love okay so if you think you need the new Bouton mascara which you absolutely do then this is definitely one that you should treat yourself to because it's the mascara that I'm wearing at the moment and I am just in love with it. I think it's such an incredible mascara. So I picked up some extras of that. I've also got this one. This is the, another stocking filler for Carrie. This is the It Cosmetics CC Cream, which she absolutely swears by. So that's gonna go um, with her gifts. Then, so this one is a stocking filler for Ali. Ali really likes the, I don't know how you say it, the Citra Trudon candles. Um, I think he was talking about getting one of these for his office and um, this one, I actually think, I don't know whether it will go in his office or in my dressing room, but this is the uh, collaboration between Gian Battista Valli and Citra Trudon. I think that's how you say it. And this is the white one, so I'm gonna try it in the office, but also try it in my dressing room because you know, it could just double up as a gift for me. Is this just a box of gifts for me? It could well be. <laughs> Next up, we have the Esper Positivity Pulse Point Oil. For me, this is just such a beautiful and thoughtful gift. If you know people that love like essential oils and things like that, like I do, this would be such a wonderful gift. And it's so lovely to see so many brands that I love and work with on Cult Beauty as well. Like I love Le Bhutan, I love Esper, I love so many brands and it's so nice to be able to pick these up for for people that i like care about and especially this year 
a little bit of extra positivity goes a long way. Oh, this is what I picked up for my sister. So this is the Morphe Times James Charles, the eye brush set. She really liked James Charles. I don't know if she still does. She's young and so it often changes and um, she might be way past James Charles now, but hopefully she isn't. But this is his collaboration with Morphe and I thought that would be a good little thing for her. It's her birthday around this time of year as well. So um, she gets double the presents. I picked up that one for her. And I think it looks really nice as well. It looks quite smart. Yeah, like it comes in a really nice leather leather case. So I think that she'll, she'll get a lot of use out of that as well. Oh, I picked up this for myself, of course. This is the Patrick Tarr for face and body, major glow, all over glow balm. This sounds dreamy. Like this is the kind of thing that you um, put on for like nights out, which we're gonna be having again soon. And like photo shoots to give your body like a bit of a, a bit of an extra gloss. And I didn't love his face mist, but I am open to falling in love with some of his products. And I really like how everything kind of centers around the glow. Um, and I like the packaging as well. It's very nice and simple, but with a nice feminine like rose goldy edge. All over glow balm is a little bit for me. They also have a lot of the slip silk face masks as well. Again, such a great stocking filler. Everybody needs them at the moment and I feel like you can never have enough. So just a little top up of those. They're just super soft on your skin. Really good for like, not like rubbing and causing irritation. Also really good at taking care of your makeup. I find that way less makeup comes off when I'm wearing my silk ones, as long as they're not too tight. And also they help retain moisture into your skin as well. So a really good little gift there. This is something that I picked up for Ali's stocking. This is the Tweezerman gear, like, grooming set so it's got like toenail scissors clippers a file tweezers everything that he could need so that he can stop stealing mine basically so i picked that up for his stocking i then picked up some makeup bits for the girls in the office as well because the girls in the office are like just just as beauty and makeup obsessed as I am and Carrie is as well. So um, I picked up the By Terry Cellular Rose Moisturizing CC Serum in tan, and then the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer in the protecting version. Um, we've also got two palettes here because I always think that eye palettes are really good if you know like someone's tones. Uh, that they tend to go for, like the Naked 3 palette is so my type of palette, but I know that the girls love it as well. Really beautiful, like neutral shades, but very like warm neutrals, which is lovely. They make great stocking fillers as well. And then this is the, I think it's Vice Art or Vice Art. I'm not sure. Don't ever listen to my pronunciation of anything. Um, but again, this is a really nice neutral palette. Oh, I like that closure. It's got like a soft closed lid. Oh, that is satisfying. But really nice, like warm neutrals palette there. Really, really beautiful. Great um, little gift for under the tree or in the stocking, whatever um, your budget kind of fits to. But I feel like beauty is always a really good place to start because if you know someone really well, you know te what they tend to go for and their favorite products. And I always think like, whenever anything comes in here, I'm like, oh, Carrie would love that. Or, oh, Dee would love that. Oh, my mum would love that. So I wanted to pick up some of the bits that they really, really loved and start getting prepped basically because I want to be really super organized with everything and get everything just tied up in advance so that everyone gets something super special this year because I'm just in the mood for it. Obviously I am working with Cult Beauty on this video which is obviously amazing and I do have two discount codes for you so let me tell you the details. The first code is CB15, you get 15% off if you spend a minimum of 20 pounds or CB20, you get 20% off if you spend 75 pound or more. Um, it's valid until the 18th of December 2020, one use per customer, cannot be used in conjunction with other offers and brand exclusions apply. So I'll pop all of the details of the codes and stuff on screen and in the description box down below so you know where to go. I will link all of these products as well because I think that there is such a lovely selection to cover every kind of person that you could ever kind of dream of as well and just some really lovely little bits and bobs. So yeah, I'm gonna pack this all up and hide it so that nobody can find their gifts. I found a really good hiding place in my dressing room as well. And then I'm gonna get ready and we're gonna to head to Carrie's for more Christmas festivities. So, good fun, good, good fun. You all right with me?
Oh, come here. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have said come here, would I? What's this? This is my present. Well, it's not wrapped. No, it's not that kind of present. It's just a... I... This is for my tree. This is for your tree. But you already know what it is, because I told you in a video. Yeah, she's really silly. I'm so stupid that I forget that Carrie edits... It's No, it's not that I forgot. I thought I would have given it to you before you edited the video, but... But I'm too efficient. Exactly. Yeah, so I know what this is. You've actually got two editing. of them. But this, the other one's upstairs. I'll get it for you. Oh my God, it's gold. No. As in it's gold. Oh. That is pure joy. <laughs> gonna hate me. <laughs> Adding to the tree. My friend is very excited yeah. <laughs> to see quite how horrific this is going to be. <laughs> I don't know, does this go alongside um, Abba Boot or does it go alongside I think Frog the Butler or... Festive Yak. Oh yeah, that's my one from Everest. That's this year's contribution bought in March. Yeah. The Festive Yak. And I hope the, you like I your vegetables. Veggies. I do. That's I wanted to get you a, a, a wine bucket with like wine in it, but that was too smart. Yeah, I think that's too tasteful. <laughs> tasteful <laughs> oh, anyway you, you can ha you can put this in pride of place yes i will i'll be hanging it okay, oh i'm really looking got... forward to food by the way i'm really hungry we've got bolognese and i've already got the champagne out of the fridge so yes let's right. go i'm gonna get my what do i need to bring it's cozy socks um a thermal coat <laughs> Because Carrie's house is the coldest house in the world. It's an old house with four chimneys. Is, like, um, is, is, the, is the fire on in preparation? We so. can light the fire. Yes, we'll light the fire in prep. Do I need to put comfies on or are we just going to do it like this? Well, I was just going to do it like this. Okay. So, we are in the Grayson residence. We have a little Bolly Moo Moo. Look at your silly face. Look at your silly face. Gammy eyes. Are you saying... Oh, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> oh, down. <laughs> I couldn't stroke him then because I've got a handful of champagne. But the stockings are up. The dinosaur fire is lit. A dino dinosaur. Oh yes, of course, a festive dinosaur. <laughs> uh, Carrie's tree is looking a little bit interesting because apparently Bolly's been tugging at the bottom of it, and so now it's got to be slightly hoisted up. So it's looking a little... That's an emergency sellotape. Yeah. <laughs> it's currently sellotaped up, which is um, interesting. I'm... Well, it's going in the skip afterwards. Oh. I bet you someone would buy that. Well, I was trying to sell it before, and then I sold my house, and I was like, there is literally no point selling it. I might as well keep it this year. Oh, yes. Carrie's also sold her house. I have. I need to find a new one. So if anyone wants to sell me a house, I'm willing A pretty one. Closer to me. It's far away. <laughs> I mean, this is my inspiration for my next move. I'll take Africa. Just get me out of it. Oh, Bolly. She's not going anywhere, is she? <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's do this. Festive mushrooms it is. Oh, I still... No, I need to unveil you my one this year. What, the festive yak? The festive yak. <laughs> it just... It honestly just... Sounds... There is a bit of a story behind it. Okay. And the story is... Carrie got evacuated from Everest. Oh, yeah. Therefore, didn't have a chance to source out the one that she actually wanted what did to buy. Well, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought you were. Uh, no. And so I have. Bonnie helping. I found this. Bonnie helping. At a market in Dimboche. Dimboche. A street market, little old lady. She also made. What are you doing? She also made um, Sherpa socks. Did you get Sherpa socks? Um, I bought my sister some Sherpa socks. You didn't Sherpa socks. You wouldn't want. You wouldn't wear them. Let's not lie. They're not cashmere and they're not cream. You're not going to wear them. So I bought a festive yak. Oh, it's not. I thought it was a festive actual yak, not I a bauble. A festive actual yak. They didn't have a. Festive oh, actual yak. well, that's just as good, isn't it? But yeah, I have a Nepalese yak. Nepalese yak, fabulous. And it can go next to the veggie. Blue. How festive. <laughs> So yeah, this year's is a festive yak to go alongside the festive fruit, uh, vegetable, vegetable bowl. bowl. I'm, I'm slightly annoyed, one's ve they're both vegetable. I think I should have had a fruit bowl and a vegetable bowl. Veggies are more your thing though than fruit. They definitely are. Yeah. I feel obsessed with them. I was like, me and Ochilengi, we should have been like this in a former life. Bolly. Right. Come on then, Bo Bo Bolly. Say please. Say please. <laughs> 
Yes. Good boy! Still not having it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. I know. He's like, I'm having it. I know. I know. We'll get you treats. We'll get you treats. Oh. I want him to jump in. Oh. Oh. Probably terrible for their hips, but at the same time, what have you stolen? The, the star! star. <laughs> of course. Because you're the star of the show. I wanted to take pride of place. Front. Central. Yes. And where's the other one going to go? The best of yak? No, the other veggie bowl. Oh, um... We'll see. Okay. You don't want two festive veggie bowls? I can't ever do the tat. <laughs> yeah. What? The tat has to be in moderation. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's no. Cool. <laughs> there is no moderation when it comes to the tat. In fact, it's Brachiosaurus and Brontosaurus if we're going to be specific about it. <laughs> I'll do this one. Okay. I feel like they need to face each other. I mean, they're extinct a long time ago, but they should still be friends. Yeah. They should feel... <laughs> I love that you wrap everything. There you go. So, it's, so it hangs better. Is that the rules? Yes. Oh. oh, of course. The festive button balls. My favourite. Right, you do buttons. Festive button ball. Any, any direction on where you want this to go? Um, wherever it looks worst. <laughs> <laughs> My novel broke! <laughs> Um, I now nominate you with King Indian Chief Alligator. <laughs> the festive edition. <laughs> well, oh. I shall take the seal. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, pride of place. There we go, marvellous. Would you like Hula Santa or Aboot? <laughs> Hula Santa. This is so bad. It's so bad. But at the same time, when admired from afar, <laughs> it's, it's really pure good. joy. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the champagne? Uh, yours is a festive flamingo. Ah, oh, we do have some festive, some, some festivities with the nutcrackers. Good. Yes, they're quite tasty. You really didn't fluff this out at all, did you? Like, what is that up there? I knew you'd come and be all anal about it, so I was like, I might as well just leave it for your you. Tree, your tree's boring. got bed head. Same as me. <laughs> Not today. No, I today know everyone is... noticed your hair today. I know. It's like, oh, it's Carrie's birthday tomorrow. Oh, that's why she's done her hair. <laughs> um, would you like the decorated elephant or the normal elephant? I'm in charge of Nutcracker at the moment. Oh, right, okay. To be honest, you know your decorations, they've got some weight to them. This is very you. It's the handbag decoration. Oh, yes, my favourite. This is like a... A Fendi, what do we call it? A Fendi, not peekaboo, it's like a Fendi baguette. Baguette. Very sex in the city. Ah! The frog butler. Yes. Is it a frog butler or what? It's a frog butler. Why is Bolly it off? Stop going for that. Well, do you not want a naked butler in your life? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Oh, I forgot this elephant one as well. The circus elephant, but that's more important. Ah, yes. Festive edition. <laughs> So sweet, isn't he? What's he done? He just sits at the door, and you, like, because he wants um, to go through. And so it's like, he walks up to the door and he goes, and you open the door and he goes, through the door, like, so quickly. Don't buy my phone. Don't buy my phone. Don't buy my phone. Don't buy my phone. He needed a little wee wee, he did. I feel like we now need maybe the um, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, the Brussels sprout baubles. Essential. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I forget how all my dinosaurs. No, come on. I'm going on the naughty step, I'm Molly. Going on the naughty step. One, two, three. Oh, I don't. haven't been on the naughty step for ages. What next? I like Carrie's tinsel. Oh, there we Your go. Favorites. The mushrooms. Yay. <laughs> I feel like this is an outlet for me because with my tree, everything is so perfectly placed. With you, I'm just like, That's the rules. You put it wherever the hell you feel like it. It's like this is the balance. The rules are there are no rules. Yeah. Little button mushroom up there? Why oh, no, wait, but you told me last year that you don't put felt and felt together. Oh my god, she put felt and felt together. 
The rules are off. <laughs> it's COVID, people. <laughs> it's COVID. 2020, the rules are out of the window. <laughs> felt and felt. We're going in. <laughs> I know that you stick to one decoration at a time. I'm like, there's a box there. <laughs> Let's like, just bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes, joy. <laughs> yeah. We all need a bit of it. Oh, joy's a bit heavy. Mm. Joy needs a diet. <laughs> all I want for Christmas. Ooh. I mean, don't break anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at you with your festive novel. Oh, the gingerbread it. men. <laughs> at your new house, you'll have like normal trees, and then this tree will be somewhere in the back. Will it? Oh dear, this mushroom doesn't have a thingy on it. We, 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 maybe we, we just shove it in. It. Yeah. Just sh shove it in. There's never enough mushrooms. I love my vegetables, remember? Yes. Yes, you do. Come on, stay put. Don't be a twat. We can fix it. <laughs> Hold my fuel. <laughs> I feel I need to be next to a dinosaur well, if you feel it why don't you do it That's right, right. <laughs> there oh no i was gonna go on that one no Wait. i'm gonna go on this one all right you go on that one stop being a backseat tree door. decorator are we done no oh. how come molly's been not in there because he's eating everything um, he'll be back on yeah when he calms down okay i don't i've um uh... I mean, why not? But well, this bit's a bit off, isn't it? I kind of want to do the same on this one. Do it. It's actually quite therapeutic and way easier. I think I said this last year, but this looks like those GNA. Like, no, no, no. These pieces, those pieces of jewelry that you find in like gift shops, that it's like yeah. a necklace and like it's. And it comes with like matching earrings and a matching bracelet at the same time for like five quid. For five quid and then it's like, here, tear your own hair out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. scalp and yourself. Pay for it. Yeah, scalp yourself. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, I'm tempted to leave. leave it. Yes. It's literally tempted to leave yeah. them like this because it's the last Christmas here and I kind yeah. of feel like... I think it works. <sighs> Come on, you're slacking. I am not slacking. You're slacking. I find shortcuts. I like these ones. They remind me of a children's colouring book. Like a Christmas colouring book. Not these are something. really weird for you. They are weird. They were in the sale and I was like, <laughs> they look weird, they'll sit on my, <laughs> quite well on my tree. They'll stick out like a sore thumb. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> What's your theme this year, Carrie? Everything. <laughs> my theme is Hamleys make it adult and... <laughs> Christmas is about magic and kids mm. and embracing your childlike self. Mm. I'm definitely going to fall down. And the pièce de résistance. The bollytude stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is Christmas. <laughs> Look at the state of that. <laughs> it oh. tastes like me. Yeah. <laughs> um. That it needs to go on this side, up this side. Yeah. Please don't break your neck. Thank you. Perfect. Lovely. Talk us about talk to us about your creation. <laughs> the inspiration behind it. The inspiration was um, my imagination slash <laughs> every market store. <laughs> this is what Christmas looks like inside my head. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I like to feel like generally I have I mean, not the best taste, but I think I'm a bit more tasteful than this. But oh, really? <laughs> the tree is the sum of everything that I shouldn't like, but really do. <laughs> so it's like a few weeks, you can just kind of be like, oh, sod it, it's only a few weeks. Oh, like, sod it. Who doesn't want an alligator on their tree? Favourite. Oh, really? I, I think this one's quite good. Mm. Um, I mean, they're all just fabulous, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, the number of dinos is pleasing. Hmm, festive dinosaurs. It's, I'm, this is... <coughs> <laughs> it's not, I don't think this is a good idea. Do you take requests? <laughs> I've, I, I've been known to do a mean Carlos Santana. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you imagine him 
I just busted out. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> but no, no, not not even a chance. I could do cello though. I used to play cello. I know you did. <laughs> I mean, not quite the same. <laughs> cello. <laughs> cello is a no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shame. Shame. I was looking forward to being serenaded. You know that when people sing and it's funny, but it's so bad, it's not like that with me. It's not no, really honestly, I think even cats are in pain <laughs> when you, you sing. <laughs> oh, I'm not dear. one of those people that's very good at anything. <laughs> I mean, let's wait for YouTube to tell you otherwise. You're really good at... Um... Growing spruit beans. Yeah. <laughs> um, Doing um, makeup nicely. <laughs> just a really Putting nice outfits person. together. Yeah. Holding a camera and making it seem really cool. What else am I really good at? Oh, I'm really good at making lemon and ginger tonic. <laughs> because when I die, I think that's what's going to go on my, my headstone. You're good at making lemon and ginger yes, tonic. Yes, because that's all I'm known for. You're a good friend. Hmm? Good friend. Oh, thanks, mate. It's what? So I actually pay you to be my friend, so... <laughs> That's a joke, people. Yeah. <laughs> well. Checks in the post. <laughs> <laughs>